LMIA, 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 Canadian LMIA, Canadian LMIA. I mean, how many times have you heard this job? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Sharma Show. And today, we talk about this all-important topic, which seems to have caught the fancy of so many. Why? Because when the CRS ranking is low, you try to get uh, getting an LMIA can mean, especially a positive LMIA can mean more points. More points mean provincial nomination in some instances and thereby the PR visa. What exactly is it LMIA and do watch the video, video till the end because we cross all the steps which you should be aware of. LMIA is basically Labor Market Impact Assessment. LMIA, that's what the short form is. And it's a document that an employer in Canada requires to hire a foreign worker. Not every employer is eligible. There are some minimum requirements. And, uh, you know, the, uh, the employer must have the ability to show that they can fulfill the terms of the offer that they're going to give. For example, you know, the yeah. benefits, the salary, uh, does have a real need for that person and uh, all related requirements that will go with fulfilling the terms of the job offer. The employer meets the requirement of the Canadian Revenue Agency. And simply doing that will not meet the requirement. The employer must advertise, uh, you know, on the Government of Canada job websites. And uh, you may alternatively, you know, uh, give a rational that, uh, you know, I don't need to advertise. But then you must give the rational in the application that you file for that particular foreign worker. Why don't you need to advertise? You must conduct at least two, the employer I'm talking about, must conduct at least two additional methods of recruitment which are consistent with the occupation for which the foreign worker is being hired. The method used among these two additional uh, methods is that, you know, one must be national in scope, which, which means that you should either advertise or uh, create awareness about the vacancy that you have on the national level. And then secondly, on the provincial, you know, you must ensure that enough awareness has been created about the particular uh, vacancy that you have, the employer again in the particular province. So the Canadian Revenue uh, Agency requirement, the ability to meet the full terms of the job offer, uh, you know, advertising, meeting additional requirements about creating awareness. Once you have met all these requirements, once the employer has met all these requirements is when one can then apply for the particular worker, job, foreign worker, foreign employee with ESTC. That's a comment uh, department with which you apply uh, to get the LMIA. Uh, you know, uh, this, this particular uh, LMIA uh, confirms that, you know, uh, you do need a temporary foreign worker and so there are no Canadian once you're through with all those, uh, you know, actions, as I call them, methods of creating awareness, you confirm to ESDC that no Canadian with that supporting documentation, that no Canadian or permanent residents are available to do the job. So ESDC, by the way, is uh, the full form is Employment and Social Development Canada. That's a comment of Canada Department that issues and processes the uh, uh, LMIA uh, for the employer to hire a foreign worker from outside. Uh, you know, uh, in case uh, you are uh, applying, the employer must ensure that it's me it's meeting the, all the compliance requirements. And if you are the foreign worker and you're getting the LMIA, keep in mind that, you know, you're getting a proper positive LMIA in hand with a proper number before you apply for work permit. When you apply for work permit, this positive LMIA along with the number, along with the proper job offer by the employer, 
the job offer will create will have all the you know terms and conditions clearly laid out on which will be hired be it the facilities be it the benefits be it the hourly wage everything and anything for the contract period be the agreement period for which you will be working with the employer so with a proper job offer the lmi set uh, you know a document and finally you know uh, your uh, uh, lmi number you make an application for the work permit and when you know uh, this is entire lmi process going on both the employer and the foreign worker should be aware that uh, you know that it may take some time for the work permit application to be processed it can it takes times 3 months 6 months so depending on the jurisdiction in which you are making the lmi application work permit application based on the positive lmi that you received both the parties should be prepared that there might be a time gap before which depending on the processing delay at the related consulate or the you know embassy uh, high commission where uh, the foreign worker is located that particular time gap everybody should be prepared out for before the person can fly in and join the employer i hope it helped and i hope you get a genuine employer who gives you a genuine lmia good luck have a nice day